Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you the contents of my October Glossy Box. And I know it's November now and I'm kind of late with doing this, but it's actually my birthday today, so I think you can forgive me. But anyways, I wanted to share with you the Glossy Box for October. As you guys probably already know, Glossy Box is a subscription service, so you pay $12.95 Great British Pounds a month and you get a Glossy Box with five luxury samples every single month. So it's a really cool idea. So this is what the Glossy Box looks like. It comes in this really cute pink box with a crown logo on it and when I open it up this is what you find inside you get a little card and also a, another card with all the product info so this month is their sixth month so they're celebrating that by giving six products instead of five so there's usually five but this month they're giving six and it's called the six pack as always, the contents are packaged beautifully, so you get like a little pink bow and then the black paper inside and then everything is just laid out really cute with this black um, kind of like stringy thing right here. It just makes it really cute. First thing that just jumped out at me, and I think it's probably one of my two favorites in this box, is the Leighton or Leighton Denny nail polish and it's the one that I have on right now. This is in the color Baby Doll and it's that really classic kind of like ice cream pink. It's so so pretty and I'm wearing it out to dinner tonight for my birthday because I love it so much. This is super super good nail polish. Like you can tell as soon as you put it on you only need even one coat is good for you. Like you don't even need to do two. I did two just because I'm a perfectionist. And a top coat. Um, it says it's long lasting and it is chip resistant so that's always a plus the next thing that's also one of my favorites is the stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner and this they sent me in a color that is perfect for me because you guys know that i love neutrals i'm not really a fan of black i used to be a fan of black eyeliner but now i'm kind of moving towards the neutrals and like browns and stuff and this is perfect i've never actually owned a stila eyeliner before although i've heard really good things about them um this is kind of in like a olive or a khaki um, green color but it's got some gold undertones to it so it's it's really really pretty it's really flattering especially if you have you know brown eyes like I do um, actually I think this would work with any eye color but if you have a warm undertone to your skin it's really gonna work so this is what it looks like this is great for putting in the waterline and then just smudging it and smoking it out. It doesn't wear off during the day. It's totally waterproof just like it says super long wearing and I think this is in the color more but I'm not sure I don't know I'll leave it in the description box if I remember to but um, it doesn't really say anything else so I think that might be the color but it's like an olive khaki green the next thing I got is something from Dermalogica and I was really happy about this because that is the only skincare line that we were allowed to use in beauty school so it's a really good skincare line it is a little bit pricey but it does work so I was happy to receive some stuff <laughs> to receive some stuff from Dermalogica the first thing I got, which I got two of, which is amazing, is the Age Smart Multivitamin Thermofoli Thermofoliant. Thermofoliant, yeah, whatever. Um, so this is basically like a age-fighting scrub or like exfoliant for your skin. So it says here, a powerful skin polisher with unique thermal technology that activates upon contact to enhance penetration of age-fighting ingredients into skin. So I got two of these, which is really nice because, you know, you get two goes. And then as well as that, now this is the secret little um, sixth product, I think. So this is the Dermalogica Age Smart Renewal Lip Complex. And look how tiny this is. Like I actually started laughing when I took this out because it's so teeny. But I'm really looking forward to using this, just popping it into my purse. You know, it'll only last a few goes, but it's still kind of cute. The last thing we got is perfume samples. Now we got perfume samples in the last glossy box as well and if I'm honest I'm not really a fan of getting perfume samples as one of the glossy box items just because me personally I like to have my own kind of signature scent. I'll use like one maybe two maximum perfumes at a time. Not together obviously but you know <laughs> over like a long period of time. I'm just not a huge like scentsy kind of girl. I just like to stick with one scent and um, also it's not it's just not something that I really use. So this month we got three in a little pink baggie which is really cute and they're three by the same company or the same name. So um, you get Visa, K2, 
Calypso and Fracas. I'm not sure if I pronounced them right. So the first one, Visa, is this one right here. They're all by Robert Piquet. Piquet? I'm not sure. He's from France, apparently. Um, and this one is a little bit too strong for me. So I didn't really like this one so much. Um, it's got kind of peach, pear, violet leaves, mandarin. It's a little bit too um, maybe exotic for me. I don't know. Next one is this little pink one, and this is Fracas. So this was probably my favorite of all of them. This is the most floral scent. It's got a lot of um, like fragile white flower scents in it, and it's got jasmine, gardenia, lily of the valley. So it's probably the girliest scent. That's probably why they picked pink for the color. And then the third one is Calypso, this one right here in orange. And this actually, funnily enough, is colored kind of like in a theme because I feel like it smells like Halloween. It's very woody, um, it's described as being bewitching and romantic, so it's kind of like um, floral but also woody at the same time, if that makes sense. So it's not like my favorite scent, but as I said, it kind of reminds me of Halloween, so it's a little bit festive. So that was everything I got in my October glossy box. Overall, I'm still really happy with the service. Um, I'm still going to keep going. I think it's a really good idea. I love getting my little pink box every month. And my favorites, like I said, were the nail polish and the eyeliner. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe to Glossy Box, just click on the link in the description box down below. Just go to their website. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!